welcome back to Ramsey Land. Today I want to show you how to make a flash powder using zinc and potassium permanganate. Check this out. All we're using to make our flash powder is potassium permanganate. This is zinc powder, 100 mesh, a ceramic crucible, and a deflagration wand. The first step is to measure out two grams of zinc powder. Next, measure out two grams of potassium permanganate. Since this mixture can be sensitive to shock, use the diaper method by just pouring them over each other back and forth until you have a nice, even, homogenous mixture. And your mixture should look something like that. Now you're ready to transfer your mixture to your ceramic crucible. Next, make sure that you deflagrate your mixture on a ring stand behind a blast shield for safety. Okay, now we're ready to test our flash powder in three, two, one. Oh! And here's our product. You can definitely see some zinc oxide in there. Here's the balanced equation for this amazing redox reaction. We start with the reactants, potassium permanganate and zinc. We have two moles of potassium permanganate, that's the 2KMnO4, and three moles of zinc, that's the 3Zn. When those are carefully mixed together and activation energy is applied, we get the reactants zinc oxide, potassium oxide, and manganese dioxide. We have three moles of zinc oxide, that's 3ZnO, one mole of potassium oxide, that's the K2O, and we have two moles of manganese dioxide, that's the 2MnO2. Now this is also a redox reaction, so in this reaction, zinc is becoming oxidized as it changes oxidation states from zero to plus two as it loses two electrons. And we have the manganate ion that's being reduced, it's changing from an oxidation state of plus seven to plus four as it gains electrons in this awesome reaction. I hope you enjoyed today's edition of Ramsey Land and I'll see you next time. If you enjoyed this presentation, be sure to remember to like and subscribe.